Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another unboxing review video. Um, I've had this one in the works for a while, it's just a case of sitting down to film it. And be honest guys, I've been lazy, I haven't been filming much recently. But today we are going to be talking about and reviewing the company Corset Story. Um, I literally just got in from work so I'm looking like a bit... A bit of a potato um but we're going to be reviewing some corsets i've got a checklist of things that i want to talk about i bought six corsets in total which may sound a little bit a little bit crazy but i love corsets um so i've just like hoarded them and i also got these on the three for one sale they're having on so i can get so yeah three corsets the price of one the only caveat is one of them has to be in clearance which is not an issue for me I ordered these two lots of corsets in two separate orders. I'm not sure if you can put six corsets on and get the same offer, but I only decided to buy more after I got the first lot. We're gonna go through the second lot I ordered first because they're all in their packaging. I wanna show you how they come. Uh, I haven't tried these ones on yet. I've also got my tape measure so I can give you guys my measurements, the corsets measurements, the length, all that kind of stuff. So to start out, let's pop my measurements on the screen. And I ordered all these corsets in a waist 28, except for one, which I got in a UK size 14. Put one of my dresses on. This isn't the most flattering thing in the world. You can really see everything. This is the reason we're trying it on with the corsets today. Uh, this is from Primark. It's quite long. It does look really cool, the corset, just to get in them on. You guys also asked me how on earth do I put on my own corsets. Well, today I'm going to attempt to show you. So I start by unlacing the back. Um, if it's laced correctly, it should be quite easy to lace and unlace. Make sure I have it the right way around. And I cut the back panel out of this one because I don't like how the back panel went. I have left in the other one so you can see how that fits. Now, I don't have a mirror for this process, and I normally would look in the mirror. To lace it up, I start by pulling these bits, and you can see there's a bit of gap. So I'll just start by finding the crosses. So it's really just a case of figuring out how it works best for you when it comes to corset lacing. Um, I'm going to go with the ones that I bought most recently first because they are still in the packaging. So they come like this, obviously they don't come opened but I have mine. Um, and then I got three so they come individually wrapped like so. So this is a red brocade one I got and again in a waist 28. They all come in a clear cellophane bag with the corset story logo on it as well as the warnings like don't put you this over your head sort of thing standard things and then this is how it looks it is comes tight laced and it also comes with a sample of the boning inside the corset and then elastic is threaded through the front so let's just undo that and i'm gonna grab my phone so i can remember what i ordered because some of these corsets are waist taming some are waist training so this red one is called the Red Brocade Underbust Corset with Hip Gorges. Full price, this one is £95. And it is really nicely constructed. The material is very durable. It feels like a hefty, solid corset. The lacing and the grommets on the back. The grommets are positioned quite far in from the edge of the corset, which I really like. Um, and the lacing is pretty standard to all my other lacing. It does have a little bit of stretch to it which isn't what I prefer but I think that's what a lot of other people prefer though obviously it has the modesty panel in here this is actually really quite a large one this covers a vast a vast section of the corset it is about six inches of panel um i always cut my panels out i don't like them i can never get in position correctly and to get a tighter lace down it just helps take a few centimeters off as well but i can i can never get them to look nice in the back of my corsets so i self-lace all my corsets as well as the closure at the front which i've managed to seal together the this pin bit has a decent amount of gap between I can't believe these are called, but they're between the front bit and then the edge, which again, if you do tight lace, it's not going to show your skin underneath. Um, so this one was £95, I got this one for free. Yeah, we got in there, <laughs> and let's just lace it up. Well, it feels so nice, it's that really nice shape. This fits me really well, like a glove almost, at the back. I haven't laced it up properly, I just cannot be asked to do that. Um, it feels really comfortable, it feels like it fits me really well. 
um, I can breathe, so that's good. And um, the fabric on this is gorgeous. I just want to pay full price for it, probably. The next one I got is considered to be lighter. This is a lingerie weight corset. This was the one that I got on the clearance. And this one actually has a facing on the lace. So rather than the other metal I'm going to show you, it does have, it feels like chiffon. Um, okay, it's all polyester, so it's kind of like a mesh. It's stiff. It's a kind of a stiff mesh, the mesh on the outside is kind of flexible. It's really lightweight and it's really pretty. This one also has the same extra panel on the closure. And I think this is exactly the same laces. And again, a decent size back. I am going to cut all this out. It's essentially the exact same construction as the other one. Um, I'm not sure about the fit on this one. This one doesn't have hip gorges. Um, and I think it might be a little bit shorter than the other one. Like I said, this one might be a lingerie weight corset and then be lighter than your average corset. Um, presumably for lingerie or to wear underneath clothing. And this one was £79 on clearance. And this is the black lingerie weight mesh underbust corset. So if you guys are more curvy like me, like your body kind of goes with the big hips, I wouldn't recommend this corset. It fits kind of oddly on my hip parts because they're sticking out there and I've tried I am unlacing it guys um let's unlace it even more so if you have a more curvy figure like me uh this might not work for you but if you are more not big hit sort of person this will really work I think if I style it correctly um, I can get to work if I shift it down a little bit. If I shift down a little bit um, so it's sitting below my wire, it's a bit better. I can't get that super cinched waist look with this one. Um, actually, maybe I can. Like, this guy is, this is not a waist trainer, it's a waist tamer. So if you're looking for something in the bedroom, this could look really cute. The reason I love mesh corsets is because over top of a colourful dress like this one, they look really cool, um, but this one isn't obviously not a waste of training, it's quite flimsy. It's got less bones, I feel, than some of the others. Um, but if you're just looking for something to begin with, something like a belt uh, or for the bedroom, uh, this could work for you guys. Last but not least, we have one that is specifically labelled as waist training. So this one's considerably heavier than all of them. This one is just a very simple black, it's nothing fancy. I don't actually own a plain black corset and once I'm finished with this bad boy, it's not going to be plain anymore. So it does have these hip attachments, so it'll stick out further rather than the other one that had a V. This one actually has bits that are sewn in. And this is a lot more heavy duty. Again, I think we have to have the same construction. Yep, so it is exact the same with the closure. Again, it's got a decent amount of room. Again, the back panel is actually bigger, I think, on this one than the other ones. We'll attach the measurements up there. And this one is 100% cotton. So this is made up of 100% cotton. It feels really durable. I'm going to be spiking this out. Um, I'm going to be doing this on the first day of Vlogtober, which is coming out on October 1st. Um, which is why I purchased this corset. This one, full price, is £115. And this is the one that I paid full price for. When you get them on the clear on the offer, you will pay for the highest priced one. I essentially got over, what, £200, £300 worth of corsets for £115. Quid ain't gonna complain okay this is the other corset this is the waist training black corset it is so comfortable these hip gorges again are perfect uh, again i've got a little bit of room in the top because i can't let's lace, lace it up as well at the bottom as well as around the waist i'm a lazy lacer guys um this one was cute i like it um i feel a lot thinner you can't really tell because of the background but if i'm just like and the back looks like this Again, lazy laser. I like how it fits, I like how it looks. Definitely would recommend. Now let's hop into the ones I've already tried on and already opened. Uh, first up we have this mesh one. I left the back panel in on this one. Um, I'm not actually sure why. I actually cut the back panels out of all of these because I'm just not a fan of back panels and corsets. 
this one isn't overbust. Now, I will say I do have a bit of an issue with overbust corsets. Um, I can never get them to sit properly on me. So that's why in my second order it was only underbusts. But in the first order I ordered two overbusts. Um, so let's talk about this one. This one is a considerably lighter. It is comparable to the weight of the underbust um, mesh one. It is still quite hefty. The whole back panel here is not mesh and it's made out of a similar material as the waist training corset. Um, the tag on this one says it's 100% polyester and the lining is 100% cotton. Now this one does have a little bit of give. I don't think it was advertised as a waist training corset. Right, so this one was advertised as a waist taming corset. It would be £105 if I hadn't got it free. Um, and it is an overbust. I would not pay £105 for this corset. I'm not sure about mesh corsets, but since you're getting them for a fraction of the price with the offer, I mean, like, I would. The boning on this one, for some reason, it feels a lot lighter boning than the ones on the other corsets. Um, for example, on this PVC one we'll get to in a moment, this feels like it has different boning it's really strong um on the boning sample they sent me they are all the same and they're all seven millimeter boning i'm not convinced this one is seven millimeter it just feels way more flexible i'm not sure because of the fabric or what but it just doesn't feel very thick or very intense i'm gonna zap you in it reminds me more of the boning in this corset which i got on ebay for 14 quid uh, and this one just has plastic boning in it and it just feels like it's the same flexibility it's not really gonna do much training to your waist then again guys it is waist taming um i would say if you wanted this and you still have access to the three for one offer go for it if you're gonna get it free but i would not pay the full price for this corset okay guys this is what this one looks like I actually, I, I, I love this how it is. It really gives me that, gives me that shape. And even though this is just a waist taming one, this really gives me that look. I love it as the overbust. I love it with this dress. I think the contrast is beautiful. I think it looks really, really cool. Tell that I'm wearing a bra, because I am. It kind of makes the moves with that weird thing. And it's not even a really tight laced. That's what that looks like. I think I'll keep this one as an overbust. I like how it looks. It's it's very Dita Von Tees. Next up we have that course that I was showing you guys a moment ago. It's the black PVC instant shape overbust with peplum cage. Um, I'm not sure what their instant shape line is. I think it's the course it is cut in a way that makes you look thinner. Um, but this one I got in a size 14 rather than a waist. It only had sizing. I think it may be a little bit too big for me. I think that's where I went wrong. But I don't really, overbust don't really work for me. And this one is incredibly long line. You have a really short torso. If you are short like me, um, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. It is kind of uncomfortable on me. I am turning this into an underbust. So I love these that go on the side. Let me clip them on and I'll show you. These are what went, want, made me want to get this corset. Just the very stylistic structure, the very Rococo almost style of it made me want to get it. I got this one on clearance. Let's have a look about how much I paid for it. I would have bought this for £75 at full price. I, I got it for free. So then for £75 at full price. Um, I like it for £75 and if it, suit, if it fitted you well I would recommend it. It feels very heavy. I love the hip gorge bits but it's just that fact that it's just too long for me. Like even sitting down it's it's going up to my like collarbones borderline so that's kind of why i'm not keeping this one as is i will be cutting it into an underbust like i said um i love the hip gorgeous they're very high quality they've got the, a little d-ring here the hardware on the d-ring feels a little bit cheap it, um but the hardware on the actual corset it feels really nice pvc is very shiny it's feels very durable the seaming on the insides on all of these are beautifully done i did have a bit of issue of putting this one on and off when i first put it on um but the inside is beautiful you can see it has the ribbon there and it is symmetrical i have seen people buy corsets in the past where the seaming on the inside is not symmetrical and it's just not looking good all the things on the inside of these ones are symmetrical uh this one i love but i wish i could get an underbust so i'm making it into one and I think most of this course's issue comes down to the fact that it isn't a waist size, it is a just a 
corset, it's just a top size. This is about as much as I can get this thing laced down. As you can see, like, this is not, like, my boobs are not, like, this is, this is not working. It's also way too high. My boobs don't want to sit here. This is, like, way too close to my chin. There was, like, not much gap here. Yeah, this is why I'm turning it into underbars. It's uncomfortable under my arm. It's rubbing up. It just doesn't fit nicely. This is what the panels look like on the side. So the panels look really cool. Just the corset fit isn't on. If you have a longer line torso than I do, probably will work for you. Now on to one of my favourite corsets. This is very, very, very similar. I think it's the exact same style as the red one. It is a underbust with hip gouges. Um, this one again is quite heavy, it's quite substantial. I think this is the one that I paid full price for. Yeah, I paid £115 for this one. It is the PVC, black PVC classic underbust waist trainer with hip gouges. Did originally come with black ribbon lacing, but also came with this lacing so you could change it out. I'm not a fan of ribbon lacing, I don't think it's substantial, but I like they gave you the option to change it. I know a few courses on the site have ribbon lacing as standard, I'm not sure if they have any options to change, but mine did, which I greatly appreciated. Um, the shape of this is perfect, I think it fits me really, really, really well. Um, everything I got except for that size 14 one fit me really well. I think it's still size, not a waist measurement, it's more of a top than a corset, I guess, in that sizing. But this one reminds me a lot of the red one. In fact, I think they are the exact same style, or the same pattern. Um, they're the same size and everything, so I think these are the same corset pattern in different materials and they're also the same price so that leaves me to leave that the same um again i really recommend this one if you're ever gonna pick up any i recommend this black one the red brocade one and then a random one you guys choose depending on what you like um and this one's really quite comfortable i could do the lacing it a little bit more at the top but i just don't have anyone to help me right now it's kind of a bit awkward this is my waist with it on I'm not going to bother to tie it up at the back. You can also adjust the length of your strings. As you can see, mine are way too long. So after this, I'll be cutting them shorter and retying them in the back. This one fits very comfortably. The hip gorges are godsend. I love them. Um, because I do often struggle with getting that perfect hip shape. Like I said, I could do with more tightness up here. I can get my fingers in. So my camera decided to cut out on me when I was doing my outro. So here we go again. To summarise my thoughts on this brand... I think the courses are really well made, I like how they're constructed and I think they're all made in-house in the UK. Um, the shipping, incredibly fast, I ordered the second load of corsets on Saturday and they arrived today, which is Tuesday. So that's, what, four days? Um, and we don't ship in the England on Saturday, so pretty much three days. The other corsets, I don't remember when I ordered them, I was in Amsterdam at the time when they arrived so god knows how long that took. i really cannot remember um but the courses that my favorite are the underbust red brocade pvc leather underbust and the black cotton one unfortunately none of them as far as i'm aware are on clearance some of them might be now so if you want to get those three together look on the clearance see what there is the only ones that i don't like are the lace underbust which doesn't fit me awesome i can make it fit me nicely i just need to arrange it a little bit the black pvc overbus with the attachments i think it looks funky it's just that it's too long for me and it doesn't fit me correctly again probably because it's a size 14 rather than a waist 28 um i'll be editing altering that as well in the future as for some other points you guys wanted me to cover uh let's talk about waist reduction on the corset on the waist training courses i think i can get down about three inches not two to three inches not properly training um and then on the other ones about an inch, half an inch to an inch comfortability wise they're incredibly comfortable all of them but the black pvc overbust are quite comfortable especially the ones with the hip gorges and the underbust again i love them they fit me so well they're very very comfortable um preferred styles i prefer the underbust and then you guys also wanted me to do some outfits based around my corsets i'll be doing that in an upcoming video um, sizing, how to find corsets true to size. Um, the corset story has a really handy thing. It says waist 28 suitable for waist 31 to 32. So they also have a sizing guide. If you don't know what size you're going for, you can find corset sizes online. You just need to know your waist measurement for the underbusts. Not sure about overbusts. 
In terms of quality compared to price, I think they are pretty reasonable. My course I have from Burlesca is a 50 quid one, it is more mid-range. The lacing on that one is not as thick as the ones on the other one, it is a round lace rather than a flat lace. I prefer the flat shoelace style to the round style and it also is a bit lighter than some of the others but it's still a good price range if you are looking at buying just one corset um but if you are looking at buying three you can get three for essentially 40 quid with the offer i'm not sure how long it's on for and i think that is it for questions i've also linked all the sizing and every course i got down below as well and this video is not sponsored i am um, bought without my own money my own pocket my own credit card so i can say whatever i want um and that is it for me guys stay safe stay dark don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you stay notified when i post which is two times a week on mondays and thursdays new uploading schedule mostly because i'm working i don't have time to film and upload but stay safe stay dark and i'll see you guys next time bye